Hi guys, my name is Davina Muse and I'm an artist and creator. I love tattoos and I love the art style Irizumi. I thought combining the two would be interesting. It didn't work out to be as crisp, but that's a part of the experimental process. And I want to show you the mistakes I made along with my thought process so that you could add your own spin, avoid my mistakes, and try it for yourself. First, I opened a photo of myself on Procreate. You can also do this on Photoshop or any other editing app. I went into the layers, clicked N, and chose Multiply. I shifted the flower around to see where I wanted to place it, the sizing and the angle. Here's a general area of where I wanted to place the stencil, keeping in mind how I wanted it to curve, avoiding the bottom of my nose because it's a difficult area to press the stencil on and I wanted the tip of the leaf to extend across a part of my nose bridge as little detail. Next, I took a transparent sheet protector and a thick sharpie to mark where I wanted the flower on my face and how big it should be. I chose transparent because it's flexible and I can see better when I'm drawing. I drew a block around where my nose was to gauge the angle and where the extended leaf would go. Next, I placed it on my iPad to adjust the sizing. I took a screenshot and used that photo in my album to trace. If you don't have an iPad, you can just print it out and put it up against the window for lighting and trace. But make sure the sizing is right by putting that sleeve against the printed version before drawing. This is the tattoo transfer paper. The front is the sheet we'll be using. The second is a protective sheet and the third is where the ink will actually transfer to the back of the first sheet to use on our skin later. It'll make sense as you continue watching this video. Taking just the first sheet and putting the rest behind it, I laid it on my iPad to trace. As you're tracing here, don't mind the small squiggles, jags, or imperfections. This is just a draft. It'll sometimes move. That's why we need to screenshot because when we just pinch the photo, it'll go back to its regular size. You can move the iPad around for convenience and comfort while tracing. The next step is to remove the protective second sheet. You can use a pencil, the one I'm using here is 0.7 lead or a ballpoint pen, but nothing too sharp or it will pierce through. You want the tip to be thicker as well so that you can actually see the lines. So here's the good copy. Try your best to draw out the desired design. Here you can fix up any tiny mistakes. Press harder when you're creating the good copy. If you're unsure, you can draw a stroke on another area of the paper and look at the back to see how much ink transferred. Then you can adjust the pressure. At the end, when you turn the sheet, you can see all the ink that has transferred to the back of the sheet. Here it's a little difficult because I can't see shit. I think a better way to approach this is to actually cut it out with this second protective sheet so you don't have to worry about the stencil touching your skin when it's not the air you want it. Then take a pencil or pen to mark where you want it on paper and then onto your skin and then match up those marks. I drew it on here so you can get a visual. I also think it may be better to cut it in half and to also mark where you want it to match up so that there's more control and more flexibility allowed. So snipping the sides like how we use beauty sheet masks, you know how our sheet masks, they have the nicks on the side. It helps to hug the curves better and not be as stiff. Alright, so there's actually a stencil transfer cream, though many artists also just use deodorant. I linked the paper and the deodorant in the links, but I think it's better to just use the cream because ick. I don't know, I didn't care, it's for the art, just ruin me. Also don't put on makeup like I did, the deodorant will absolutely fuck it up. I'm coating the area pretty generously, getting it everywhere I want the stencil to be. I'm attempting to just pat it so it doesn't remove all the makeup, and now I'm just slowly pressing from top to bottom. The stencil starts to turn transparent and I can slowly see myself a fucking up because it's lifting and then pressing constantly. I tried to snip one side so it could provide a little more flexibility but I was like eh it's already screwed. I slowly removed the stencil and attempted to clean up some areas but seeing how basically the double lines is just printed and smudged and how burnt out I was from all the mistakes I made before, I decided to just end the experiment here and try again another day. But it's not terrible, you can kind of tell what it is. I really want to trace it with a graphic liner next time. I think once you start seeing things under a creative lens, you see opportunities everywhere. In my previous video I talked about how you basically just collect and connect ideas. This is one of them and I love experimenting like this. Let me know what you think of this concept in the comments and also like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.